Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Before we start to explain the strategy, you need to know several smart money concepts, such as order block, break of structure, and change of character. To fully understand these concepts, go ahead watch our previous videos, which are linked in the description. But let us have a brief explanation. Let's start with the order blocks. Order blocks are the optimized demand and supply zones. They form when a large amount of money enters the market, resulting in a massive move. In other words, when there is an imbalance between the buyers and the sellers. Let me show you how we identify the order blocks. In the bullish scenario, the last bearish candlestick before the start of a heavy bullish move is identified as the order block zone. Or the first weak bullish candlestick before the big move. The same concept applies to the bearish scenario. Now let's discuss the concepts of break of structure and change of character. Imagine a trending market with a series of higher highs and higher lows. In this case, each of the highs and the lows are market structure levels, and the most recent higher high and higher low are the ones we monitor. Breaking the latest higher high to the upside indicates that the market intends to continue to the upside, which we refer to as a break of structure. On the contrary, if the market breaks the recent higher low to the downside, it indicates that the market intends to change its direction, which we refer to as a change of character. The key point is that a break of structure is valid even if a shadow breaks above the previous structure level. But for a change of character, we certainly need a candlestick to break and close below the previous market structure. Now that we discussed the concepts of smart money, let us dive into one of its top strategies. This strategy has two steps. First, we analyze the market structure and point out order blocks in the higher time frame. Second, we zoom in lower time frame and wait for change of character to appear and look for order block entries. For example, if we have pointed our order blocks in 4 hours, we look for entries in 15 minutes. With the same concept, if the higher time frame will be 1 hour, we look for entries in 5 minutes. Remember that this strategy is not limited to any time frame, but your entry time frame must be at least 2 times lower than your analysis time frame. So let me explain to you the steps of this strategy on the candlestick chart. Look at this 4-hour chart of the New Zealand dollar, which is our higher time frame. In the first step, we analyze the market structure and point out the most recent order blocks. Here we have an uptrend, with this recent move with imbalance and break of structure. So, this level is a perfect order block zone that potentially can get rejected and give us a trading opportunity. Now, all we have to do is wait for the price to touch the order block zone. In the second step, we zoom in on our entry time frame and look for trading opportunities. In this case, we are analyzing the market in the 4 hours time frame, so we zoom in 15 minutes. Now, notice how we are in a downtrend in 15 minutes. So, in the second step, we must wait for a change of character to appear. If we see no change of character, then we will have no trade. In this scenario, for having a change of character, we need a candle to break and close above this area. Like this. This is a sign that we are no longer in a downtrend, and the market can potentially start to move to the upside. So, next, we look for new order blocks to place our trades. In this case, this zone makes a perfect order block since it belongs to the move of change of character. So, this is how we execute the trade. We place our order, a spread size above the order block, with stop loss being a couple of pips below the lowest point of the zone. For the first TP, you could close half of your position when the price reaches your 1 to 2 target. This way, even if the price gets back and hits your stop loss, you are at break even. For the second TP, you can target the next level of structure in front of the market in the higher time frame. Or, you can also track down your profit, meaning that every time market makes a higher low, you reposition your stop loss a couple of pips below the lowest candle. But that is not all. We can look for further entries as the market continues to go to the upside. 
Every time market makes another order block, we could place a new order with lower risk. For example, notice how the market has created a new order block here. So, we set another order. Again, we have another order block, so we place another one. But this is optional, and never try it before backtesting enough and gaining the required confidence. Also, keep in mind that whatever position size you risk for the change of character's order block, you need to risk half of the size for the following trades. Also, never have more than three trades open for the same analysis on a pair. For example, if you have a small account and are willing to risk 2% for the first trade, risk 1% for the second and third. This way, in the worst case scenario, you will only lose 4% of your capital. But in the best cases, you will earn far more profits, which is how you make a smart risk. I hope this was not confusing for you. If it was, let me show you more examples. But before we do that, if you feel generous, please go ahead and click on the like and subscribe buttons since it goes a long way to support us in making more videos. Now, let us look at the euro dollar 1 hours time frame. Here, we can immediately notice this impulsive move to the downside with imbalance and BOS. So, we draw our order block. Now that the price has reached this level, let's zoom in 5 minutes time frame and look for entries. Here we can see that we have already made a change of character since the candles have braked and closed below this level. So we mark this recent 5 minutes order block and place our sell order. Now, notice how price made a new order block. So without cancelling our first trade, we will place another one with reduced risk. Now let's see what will happen. So price came back and hit the stop loss of the second trade and triggered our first one and hit our target. In this case, you would lose a small percentage on the second trade and profit much more from the first one. This is a common scenario while trading the smart money strategy. You should not cancel your orders before the price reaches your target. Let us see another trade example on the Aussie dollar, which is partly different from what we had earlier. Here we have an impulsive move to the downside, so we draw our order block. Since this is a 4 hours time frame, we zoom in 15 minutes to find possible short entries. In 15 minutes, we have already made a change of character, so it's time to find a new order block and place short entries. But there is one problem. We want our stop loss protected above this swing high. But we cannot identify any order blocks here. So how do we place trades? In situations like this, we enter the market with retracement levels. We open Fibonacci retracement and place the sell order precisely in the middle of 618 and 786 levels. We want our stop loss wider this time because we are early sellers since the swing high barely touched the 4 hours order block. Usually, the market likes to hunt the stop loss of early sellers. Okay guys? I hope you can apply this strategy to your trading plan. But remember, knowing this strategy is not enough, and to execute it correctly, you should test it on different currency pairs to find the best pairs for this. Also, have a proper risk management plan to be safe on stormy days. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to inspire us to make more videos like this. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. See you guys next time.